What's good, YouTube? It's your man Rage King, aka first name Rage, last name is him. Back with another one. Yes, another upload to the channel. And before we get started, ask if y'all please go down there, hit that like button, hit that sub button, hit that share button, hit that bell for notifications if you're new. Welcome to Rema Rage TV. This is how we do Rage and Rebels. Crown up. And if you're new to the crew, welcome to the Rage and Rebel Revolution. Now let's vibe in, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie. It feels so damn good, and I do mean so damn good, to be so right that people can't deny it no more. It feels so damn good to be so correct, to call your shot, to point, call your shot, and knock that bitch out the park in the exact spot where you said you was going to hit it on my Babe roof shit. Why am I so excited? Why am I so happy? Where is this joy from Rage King coming from? I'll tell you. It's because yet another big content creator, another pro player, has come out and voiced, well, shouldn't, I shouldn't say voiced their disgust, but have shown their frustration and their disgust with one Mortal Kombat 1. You love to see it. You love to see it. It's sad it had to come down to all this, but you love to see it. See, what somebody, what a wise man once told me was, Though it may not happen right away, truth always seems to fall on the side of right. It may not happen right away. It may be delayed, but it, just because it's delayed doesn't mean that it's not inevitable. Didn't I tell y'all? The moment that these content creators and these big time, uh, uh, these, these pro players, excuse me, when they stop getting the views and the money from Mortal Kombat 1 that they thought they were going to get, Slowly but surely, you're going to see more and more people putting out tweets. You're going to see more and more people putting out videos. You're going to see more and more of your favorite content creators slowly migrate to other games and tell you everything's fine. I'm just playing this. When deep down, they know. They know that MK1 is full of shit. That's a bar. I should have been a rapper. Now, again, before we even get into it, before I show you what I'm talking about, and the pro player I'm talking about, I need this to be known. And this is not me. Oh, I'm afraid of it. This has nothing to do with this. I am not personally attacking this person. To be quite honest, I am actually a fan of this guy. I really am. I follow him on Twitch. I'm subscribed to him on YouTube. Hell, to be honest, hint, hint, he's one of the people that got me to play Collector in MK11. And Collector ended up being one of my mains. All right. So, again, I'm not attacking anyone. I'm not saying that you're not entitled to your opinion i'm not saying oh look see you i'm not doing any of that all i'm saying is is that rage king knew what the fuck he was talking about so without further ado i'm gonna stop running my trap and it's time to watch and react let's get it yes sir as you see right here ain't no optical illusion ain't no black magic ain't no photoshop this is the real deal holy feeling real spell Y'all may know this guy, man. For those that don't allow Rage King to fill you in, this is one Destroyer FGC. You know, Mr. Champions of the Realm himself. And I'm not saying that to knock him, bro. I'm a fan of Champions of the Realms, like I say. I'm a big fan of yours, bro. I, 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 I follow you on Twitter. I follow you on Twitch. Subscribe to you on YouTube. I think you are one hell of a content creator. I find that you are one of the most entertaining content creators in the Mortal Kombat space on any platform. I will give you that, bro. However, we got to talk about this. Now, I know there's going to be people and there's going to be him himself talking about, oh, it was just a meme. It was just a meme. Here's something that y'all need to know. and We're going to watch the video. This tweet reads from Destroyer. This is his actual. Um, this is his actual Twitter page right here, as you see right here. Hmm? The caption reads Mortal Kombat 1 sucks dot 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 hashtag MK1 hashtag Mortal Kombat 1. And he put together a minute and 37 second long meme, because that's what they're going to call it, a meme that lasts over a minute and a half, showing us all the reasons why he says this game sucks. So without further ado, I'm going to shut up and we're going to show the clips now. I have to mute it because they do have music. They do have copyrighted music going on in the background. So I am going to mute it. But just watch. You got Homelander over there putting his tongue all up in the milk. 
Like getting losses down my look at this. Look at this. Plus four, plus four, plus four, plus five, plus plus three, plus five. Who's that? Everyone's favorite matchup, Johnny Cage. Plus on every goddamn thing. Now, I will say as annoying as that is, and I wouldn't even say that Johnny shouldn't be plus on one button to two button combos that aren't full that you know cancel combos that don't that aren't full combo strings. However, Plus four and plus five, we can just sit there, stagger, 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 poke, don't forget the pokes, poke, 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 stagger, 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 poke, poke, stagger, stagger, come the fuck on, man. Let's continue. Oh, oh, and yes, don't forget about the cheapest fatal blow in Mortal Kombat history where this guy has all this immense pressure, a pressure monster, and yet when he is knocked on his ass, he can literally off his ass just get up and get a free parry. You can't hit it high, you can't hit it low, you can't hit it mid. The only thing you can do is hit that bitch with a projectile. That's about it. But let's continue. Why else does he think this game sucks? That was just one example. Let's continue. Of course, Baraka Kano. That's literally Baraka just hitting the circle button or the B button for Xbox players three to four times and then doing a launcher for no damn reason. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Like, come on now. He's literally. I don't even know if y'all. Baraka literally has a string that is you hitting the circle button or the B button for Xbox. Six fucking times. Four, 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 four. What the fuck? And then you give him a cameo to be safe afterwards. Come on, man. Come on now, dog. Come on now. Now let's move on to everybody's favorite matchup, or should I say everyone's favorite sandwich, the Cento sandwich. Nope, you gotta hold all of it. You gotta hold all of it. Maybe you can armor and hope they're both not swinging at you at the same time. And break your armor for trying to armor out of it. So you gotta hold it. 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 This is not an extended clip, y'all. This is how long this little blue bitch gets to stand out. He is out for way too long. Way too long. This motherfucker's out for about 15 seconds, bro. 15 seconds in a fighting game is damn near a lifetime. People didn't got their entire goddamn life bars deleted in 15 seconds or less. Plenty of damn times, dog. But with Sento, this little motherfucking samurai smurf over here, just out. Just out. Just out. And then the shit that pisses me off about Kenshi, and we can even have a separate video discussion about this. If Kenshi has Sento out, should he still be able to use a breaker or a fatal blow? I say no. Not while it's out. No. No did it, by the way, because that didn't sound right. But in my personal opinion, since y'all just don't want to nerf the duration that this motherfucking blue samurai smurf is out, then he should not be able to have a chance for he should not be able to use breaker or fatal blow while can't while Sento is out. That's just my personal opinion. Feel how you want to feel about it. One hit. One touch, fatal blow after taking all that chip damage. Oh, and don't forget about the BBC back shots from Giras. Don't forget about that freeze in time and then sit there and hit the daddy stroke, hit the daddy stroke, hit the hit the daddy stroke, hit the daddy stroke. All goddamn game long. What the fuck? Let's watch it again. Not because I'm a freak, but I'm going to just let y'all know how silly this goddamn game is. Look at this. Look at this. He got the keeper of time bent over, clapping his motherfucking cheeks with his sand pillar. Come on, man. I, you sitting there with... You, Liu Kang, Wesley sniped. Let's move on. Or should I say Wesley piped? Oh, and Tanya. Oh, fucking Tanya. Melina Sneaky Link. I've done a video personally on this motherfucking spinner and ass bitch. All day, Goro. That, Goro. Oh, and don't forget, don't forget, she can mash poke out of fucking everything because she has no recovery frames on anything, especially if she got Goro. I'll be damned. Now let's continue. Y'all smoke going invisible. 
Smoke going invisible all goddamn day. All goddamn day. I'm not saying he shouldn't even be able to be invisible, invisible but all goddamn... Come on now. Come on now. Oh. And I, I'm not even going to lie. This, this special ability by Ermac, I'm going to give them a pass on that. I, I get why they say... Oh, hold on. Let me move them. I get why they say... Oh, I get why they're upset with Ermac in that situation. But me personally, I, I like that move. I'm going to give him a pass on that. I'm going to I'm gonna have to say I disagree with that one. I get when he's saying, oh, well, I'm not doing that much damage because he's got that move. That's a special ability, though. So I'm going to give them a pass on that one. I think that was the coolest special ability they gave just for Ermac. I believe every character should have something special about them. But that's just me. And then the Melina Ball Rock. Chameleon herself. Chameleon. 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 I am a chameleon player myself. Don't get me wrong. But me personally, you know your other cameos are absolutely horrific when you have nerfed chameleon and yet this bitch is still head and shoulders above all the other cameos. Maybe the problem, NRS, and hear me out, is not the fact that you need to continue nerfing top tiers. I think it's about time you pull your heads out of your ass, wash your face off, wash your ass, and get some sense about yourself and buff the rest of the lower tier characters and cameos. Bring other characters up. Stop just bringing top tiers down. And then these motherfuckers still end up being the best in the game, bar none. But that's just my opinion. Yet another big content creator and another pro player has come out and showed their frustration with Mortal Kombat 1. Didn't Rage King tell you this was going to happen? I gave them a year. It's only been 9 to 10 months. So they almost made it. They almost made it. I give you that. I, I give them that. They almost made it. But as I've said before, and I'm going to end the video on this. Truth, for whatever reason... Though it may take a little while, it may not happen right away. Truth always seems to fall on the side of right. So knowing that, why would you continue? And I'm not accusing him or anyone. I'm not accusing him personally of doing this. But knowing that, why would you feel the need to lie to your fan base? Knowing that they see exactly what the fuck is going on. That's all I'm going to say. Goodbye.